Palm Springs meets Encino Hills in this completely reimagined mid-century modern estate. This property is located on a private cul-de-sac and offers an exclusive haven from the hustle and bustle while ensuring you're never far from what the city has to offer. This restored home was originally designed by architect Merle A. Roselot in 1959. A fun fact about Encino is Freaks and Geeks, the television series featuring James Franco, Jason Siegel, and Seth Rogen, filmed in and around the city of Encino. Hello everyone, my name is Sierra Schatz and welcome to our channel. Today we are in Encino and we are very excited to show you this tour, but first and foremost, we'd love to thank the listing agents, Vito Sanfilippo and Andrew Manning at Berkshire Hathaway Home Services, California Properties for allowing us to tour their beautiful listing. So let's go check it out. This property has five bedrooms, four and a half bathrooms, over 3,300 square feet of living space, and is on a lot that is over 9,000 square feet. This property is listed at $3,499,000. So let's come up in this space. You have this trellis design above and right here in front of your door for privacy. You also have these casement and fixed windows. And check out how big this space is. You have the same rock detail from your driveway and you can possibly fit a couple chairs or tables and sit out here and enjoy your neighborhood. So let's head inside through your mahogany front door into your mid-century modern house. And here we are in your open floor plan in your mid-century modern house and check out these restored terrazzo floors. These are very unique and they started coming into the US in the 1920s, but really became popular in the 1930s through the 1970s. So very unique. I love how they restored those. You have an abundance of light coming through your picture windows into your main dining area. And check out how beautiful and classy the chandelier is. You have designer light fixtures all throughout this house. And over in your dry bar area, you have this fluted wood panel design that is also throughout the house and these alabaster teardrop sconces. And check out how beautiful this veining is in your quartzite countertop. Storage here, maybe you can put some artwork and place some dishes here so you can serve your guests right here next to your dining area. And you have a push to open storage space here. That's all of our stuff. Looks nice and organized. Brian organized his stuff. <laughs> So this is smart home capable and you also have cat six wiring, which allows for higher data transfer speeds. And I've probably said that line three or four times now. And for some reason I can't get it right. Higher data transfer speeds. There we go. <laughs> so let's come down this way into your powder room and you have storage space here. And this is your powder room and check out the statement piece right here. And this is a large piece of quartzite. You have the slanted drain, you have your wall mounted faucet, but how they set this floating vanity up is they anchored it through a steel setup directly into the structure. So very unique. You have your pennant lights and this somewhat emulates that fluted wall paneling design we saw earlier. And check out this mirror. Instead of having the typical circular mirror, they made it a little bit oblong shape. So pretty unique. Now let's come back down this hallway into this area of the house. You have the same sconces we saw earlier and check this out. This is pretty cool how it is closed off. So if you are in here working in your office or you have a guest or any kids that are trying to go to bed, you could just close this off and avoid any noise bleed. Now let's head into your office and there is not a bathroom in here. So this could possibly be a baby room or as I mentioned, your office, you can mount a TV here. You have recessed lighting and additional storage space here. You also have an exit into the patio space we'll get to later. And let's come over here into your first bedroom. And in here you have a view to your front yard and ample amounts of sunlight. You also have somewhat of a Sputnik chandelier right here. Maybe throw a desk or your TV right there. And you have these high end custom Mia Tessa cabinets all throughout the house with Blum hardware. 
And what we have been seeing in a lot of houses now, instead of a recessed closet, is the entire wall is just closet space or drawer space. So let's head out of here into your laundry room. You have a corner vanity right here with quartzite countertops, stainless steel sink, built-in shelves, and more of those Mia Tessa storage spaces. Let's check it out. There you go, fold some clothes, throw it in there. And we'll come into your bathroom. And you have this tile on the floor that is, I think it's porcelain. However, it kind of looks a little bit like the terrazzo floors we saw in the landing area. You have double undermount sinks, quartzite countertops, black fixtures, and check out these light fixtures, these vanity light fixtures here. They kind of match that quartzite that is in your bar area next to your dining space. So double sinks, Mia Tessa cabinets, and what is also special about the shower is that it is kind of, I guess, a, a half moon shaped. So you have this curve over here that is somewhat of a seating space here. So you also have your tub, your shower, and a mini seating space there with the tile on the wall that looks a little bit like that fluted design we saw earlier. So you'll notice in a, most of the showers that you have that linear fluted design. And we'll come this way, down the hallway into your primary. And here is the first storage space of the primary bedroom. We'll get to the second in a little bit, but check out the reveal of this primary suite. This is a unique triangular shaped bedroom. And I do wanna point out that this is the original structure of the house, but they renovated everything. So we will get to this in a second, but let's head into the primary bathroom. And you have this natural looking herringbone tile design on the floor that is also in your wet room. And you have matching shower heads, regular and rainfall shower heads, your freestanding tub, shampoo niche, and a casement window above to let in additional light and let out any steam. And this is a beautifully paired tile design on the wall that matches your design on the floor. And check out how captivating these quartzite countertops are. It also runs all the way up to the ceiling where you have another casement window and look how large this piece of glass is. You also have two pennant lights that kind of look like a chandelier we did in a previous tour. I'll put the link above. And you also have these same beautiful high-end cabinetry in this bathroom. You have your water closet here. And let's head back into your primary bedroom. You have an area here for maybe a table and you have engineered European floors all throughout this property. And this is another storage space right here. This is your walk-in closet. And it looks like they're finding light bulbs for their spending like so. It'll be lighter in there at another time. But let me know in the comments what you think about this wallpaper design. This is such a mid-century modern thing with the colors and the patterns. And I think it really is unique. And I love how they really just fed into that design aspect. You also have a classy globe chandelier, two windows to your side yard, and your own sliding glass door to your patio space. This is your office to my right that we saw earlier, and here are some beautiful flowers that add a splash of color. You have one area here where you can add maybe a larger table or another fire pit, and you have that same concrete and black stone design throughout this backyard. And this fire pit right here was custom made for this house. So you can sit here and enjoy the treetop view or the sweeping view of the neighborhood. And underneath this trellis design, you have your outdoor dining area. It looks large enough to fit another table or maybe even a larger table. And right here, you have an 11 foot barbecue bar space. You have this dark colored countertop. You have stainless steel appliances, your beverage fridge, your sink, and your barbecue. Now you have, as I mentioned earlier, this beautiful neighborhood view. You also, it looks like you have jasmine along your stained fence and they laid some new sod right here on the ground so maybe your kids can hang out, your pets, or maybe you can play some soccer. What do you know about soccer? What did you say? What do you know about soccer, Sierra? What do I know about soccer? <laughs> mm. 
You know, Brian? Let me show you. This backyard isn't big enough for the both of us here. Actually, it is. It's approximately 3,000 square feet. I hope you guys liked our soccer sequence. Let us know in the comments what you thought and let's get back to the tour. And here we are in your first bedroom on this wing of the house. So remember the primary suite was over here and then we walked through the backyard and now we're here on this opposite side. I also wanna point out in this house, you have some M-Tech hardware. These are pretty unique knobs and they somewhat match the light fixture above. You have more storage space here, and in this ensuite, you have a light color tile design on the floor, a corner vanity with those push to open soft close cabinets, quartzite countertops, and I would like to point out that in the showers of the house, you have tile designs and they somewhat emulate that fluted wood panel design we saw earlier. So you have a regular and handheld shower head. And let's come out here into the bedroom next door and you have your own exit to the backyard, an area to maybe put a TV. And in this ensuite, you have the same corner vanity. And I want to point out this texture design on the walls. You don't have a typical just plain white wall. This is a lime wash. So let me know in the comments if you can see it. And here is that same tile design. I said to look out for its own unique, somewhat fluted, fluted wood panel design. It's not wood, it's tile, but somewhat emulates that. So let's head out here into your kitchen area, past additional storage space. And in this kitchen, you have 14 foot ceilings with recessed lighting. You also have these Kelly Ressler light fixtures all throughout. You have fixed windows above and two large sliding glass windows right here with a view to your side yard. Built-in shelves, the same beautiful high-end cabinetry all throughout. And check out these light colored grayish quartzite countertops that are right here on your counter and along your backsplash. Very beautiful. Two sinks, one right here, one right here on your island. And I almost missed this because of how low key it is. This is your dishwasher. <laughs> dishwasher shot. You also have your pot filler here and your six burner cooktop with your griddle. Thermidor, stainless steel appliances, double ovens. And this is your fridge and freezer. So also a little low key. Here's your microwave drawer right here. Plenty of storage space. Your stainless steel Zephyr beverage fridge. And this is a stationary fixed breakfast area right here. So we can't move this, but you have the same beautiful quartzite countertops. So let's head into one of your living areas and check out all of this glass space. You have your backyard and the treetop view and to the grass. We played some soccer earlier on. And before I get to the main family area, I love to point out the staging. So as you have noticed throughout this house, mid-century modern, and not only is mid-century modern coming back into style, but I will also say that bold colors. So respect, shout out to the staging people. Love it, very beautiful, tasteful. You also have these restored beams above head. And I would say this is probably one of the most special things about this house. This is the original fireplace. Check out how beautifully maintained this is. Mount some artwork here. You can even hang out right here, take some seats. And this used to be a wood burning fireplace. However, it is now gas. Check out this unique terrazzo space right here. I don't know if it's a floating shelf or uh, part of a mantle, but very unique. I love how they maintain this. Here's that detail we saw earlier. And this could be storage space and come down into this family area. So 
This area has speakers and recessed lighting. However, you don't really need the recessed lighting because you have so many windows. I will say this is a perfect spot for a plant. This has been an area that has been receiving sunlight all throughout the day. And let me know in the comments what you think about recessed living rooms. I know they're not for everybody, but I absolutely love them. And they are also a big characteristic of mid-century modern homes. So this space right here was originally a pass-through area. You have the hallway on the other side, but they decided to close this up, add these wood details, and do the wiring for your television right here. So let's head over to what I would consider the statement piece of this entire house is this Terrasso fireplace. You have two different textures right here, a more smooth texture and a more rough texture, but I really appreciate how well of a job they did kind of uh, conserving that original Terrasso. So let me know in the comments what you think. I think it's great how the style is switching up and it's truly unique, but I would like to hear what you have to say. And again, I'm Sierra Shots. That concludes our tour. We appreciate any comments, likes, or subscribes, and we are excited to show you what we have next.